My name is George Riedel. I'm the 10th generation of the family. And uh, we specialize in varietal specific classes. And uh, this afternoon we are going to evaluate Australian Riesling in 14 different Riedel classes, which we have special selected, to find out what of the classes is most suitable for Australian Riesling. We're going to identify if Australian Riesling is uh, different from Old World Riesling and if it differs, how it differs and if it requires a different vessel to be expressed and shown to its very, very best. What we do is lift the motions. Really interesting, actually. Um, it's pretty amazing how uh, all the different glasses do different things with the same wine. Incredible stuff. We were looking for the complete package, I suppose, and uh, you know, again, what we eliminated was uh, wines that showed too much minerality or too much austerity. We're looking for expression of Friesling. It, it really did come down to, in the end, what in context of the wine and, and the glass was most interesting to me to, to drink out of. We went for a glass that accentuates the minerality. Terrific glass. It doesn't push the fruit forward too much. All about minerality, restraint, great acid, tightness. I just I love the shape of the glass because I haven't seen a lot like that before. Real nice oval shape, but it had that nice closed top. And the glasses that worked for me were the ones that showed that, really showed the, the focus of the wine, but also the fruit and the, the richness also as the wine aged. Yeah, look, number nine was the one I went for um, in uh, and I think it's it because, I thought, you know, in Australia we want our Rieslings to retain that freshness and it certainly did that. We've sort of always talked about Riedel glasses and the, and the, and the shape and, the, and, the, and what you get out of the, these glasses and to actually see it in a lineup like that is, is spectacular actually. Really, really enlightening. I really enjoyed it. We understand the wine, we understand of course the glass and all we're trying to do is match these elements together right now. If we can achieve this, then we'll end up with perfection.